we are here with uh, Andrew Coates, professor of cardiology uh, and an expert on heart failure. Um, I would like to ask you a couple of questions. Um, what is uh, the effect of uh, heart failure and uh, the spread in uh, population? Heart failure is a very common disorder, probably affecting about 2 to 3 percent of the adult population, and it is one of the nastiest disorders because it's associated with poor quality of life, reduced ability to exercise, um, and obviously a high risk of death. And speaking of this risk of death, there are a few uh, therapies and drugs that have been used in the past. And what is the, how effective are these drugs in, uh, in treating chronic heart failure? But we've been remarkably successful over the last 20 years in developing treatments for heart failure. So we've taken an annual mortality rate of 20% and reduced it to 10%. So a number of drugs that are beneficial, ACE inhibitors, beta blockers, aldosterone antagonists, but 10% is still too high. So we still need to find new drugs that further reduce that burden. Speaking of these new drugs and new possible therapies, we've been talking today about uric acid and its uh, effect on um, heart failure. What kind of development in therapies and, and drugs do you expect in the future years, uh, talking about uric acid? Okay, well, it's a very long pathway from getting the idea that something might work to getting definitive proof. So there is one new drug that's just been in a big trial, a drug called LCZ, but in terms of other treatments around uric acid, I think we're still unfortunately quite a few years away but before we have the large enough clinical trials to prove it works. I think there's a lot of potential there, but it will require some bigger trials.